today i'll be sharing two diys related with ganesh chaturthi festival hello everyone and welcome back to my channel let's see what i have created first i have taken these two cardboards measuring 10 cm into 15 cm and i have taken two pieces and i'll join it together using fevicol glue to make the edges even i'll use masking tape to make the base strong here i'm using the mixture of pop glue and water I'll apply it using a spatula. So once it is applied completely, I'll allow it to dry. By that time here I have done a sketch of Ganesha face and first I'll place a plastic sheet on this and I'll place the molded clay according to this sketch. I'm trying to make a embellishment of Ganesha face. As usual the molded clay comes with two parts, one hardener and one resin. To make a dough you have to mix two parts in equal quantity. To avoid it from sticking to hand you have to use talcum powder. So here you can see that with small small pieces I am joining uh, the clay together to make the face. Once the clay part is done I just allowed it to dry overnight. And here now our base is also ready. So let's start coloring this. Here I am using pink and white acrylic color to color the base. To the base I have kept it in a lighter shade and to the sides I will give the darker shade. To get the texture I will just use this white acrylic color. Once everything is dried completely here I am using this stencil with the mandala design. And using a dabber I will apply the color. The color which I am using is in the darker shade. To get this shade I mixed black and crimson acrylic color. And you can see we got a beautiful print on our base. So leave it to dry for a few minutes and now we will take out our clay. It's completely dry now, let's color it. So initially I will color it with black acrylic color. So our Ganesh embellishment is getting ready. And once it is completely dry using fevicol glue, I will stick it to the base. For the festival look, I'll use this gold metallic color. Using dry brush, I'll apply the color wherever it is needed. Even I'll color the edges of the base in gold metallic color with the dry brush. And once you are complete, allow it to dry completely before giving a coat of varnish. And here our DIY is done. And here comes the final reveal. So now let's move to the second DIY and here I am soaking the leaves of Ashwatha or the sacred fig tree. I kept the leaves in water for 20 days and keep on changing the water and then using a brush you have to remove the upper green part. Dry it and your leaf skeleton is ready. I will take one of this leaf skeleton, I will color it using acrylic color. So I have mixed little bit of uh, water so that it will mix properly. And to color this, I am using different shades of colors. Once it is colored, I will just allow it to dry completely. By the time it is getting dry, here I have some embellishments which I have collected from a, a invitation card. So I will paint it with the black acrylic color, then I will paint it with the gold metallic color. Okay, now our leaf is also ready and our embellishment is also ready. Using fevicol glue, I will stick it in between the leaf. And now I am going to frame it. On a cardboard, I used a white paper as a base and kept the leaf above this. And then you have to fix the frame. I have purchased this frame from Amazon. You can also try some cardboard frame also. Once you are done with the framing, your wall decor is ready. You can use it in your house as a wall decor or you can also gift it to your family or your friends. And here comes the final reveal of our wall decor. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and share the video with your family and friends. 
Stay tuned with me as I'll be sharing many more DIYs in my channel. See you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye and happy Ganesh Chaturthi to all.